In this episode we will explore what the plasma universe is and some of the basic principles that govern it. I want to explore how Anthony Pratt extended much of Hannes Alphen's early work to explore some alternative concepts for the formation of galaxies and clusters of galaxies. We will start with a basic overview of what the plasma universe is and examine the filamentary electric current aspects of cosmic plasmas. So let's dive in. It is a model of the universe in which the plasma and electromagnetic forces play a significant role. The origin of this concept comes from the plasma work conducted in the 1950s onwards which revealed many surprises in terms of how plasma behave and showed many similarities to cosmological phenomena. One important aspect of the plasma cosmology is the idea of starting from the observed present state and trying to extrapolate backwards in time to an even more ancient time. So from this the first important point is that plasma cosmology rejects the idea of the Big Bang. The universe is not expanding and did not form from the Big Bang. Now at this stage there are no clear concepts about how it formed but going back to the point about working backwards this would be an end goal but in order to try and understand this you would have to work outwards from what we can observe and this is exactly what they focused on. Plasma cosmology holds that the basic laws of plasma physics that can be observed in the laboratory and in the magnetosphere as well as the heliospheric plasma also apply to interstellar and intergalactic plasmas. Space is filled with a network of currents which transfer energy and momentum over vast distances. These currents often pinch the filamentary or surface currents. The latter of these will give rise to a cellular structure in both interstellar and intergalactic space. In order to understand the phenomena in certain regions it is necessary to map not only the magnetic but most importantly the electric field and the electric current. A number of plasma phenomena like double layers, Birkeland currents, critical velocity, the pinch effect and the properties of electric circuits are vitally important to understand cosmological phenomena. Our concept of cosmic plasma has changed considerably. Essentially differences between the old and new paradigms include the following. Electric double layers are known to accelerate charged particles to kilovolt energies in the terrestrial magnetosphere. The necessity of a global electric current description to describe the transfer of energy in the magnetized cosmic plasmas and this leads to the requirement of drawing the circuits in which the currents flow. This approach also emphasizes the discrete particle description in simulating cosmic phenomena, where particle currents may be explicitly followed. In the magnetospheres, plasmas exist in both active and passive states. This is probably true for all cosmic plasmas. Cosmic plasmas are often not homogeneous, instead exhibit filamentary structures which are likely to be associated with currents parallel to the magnetic field. In the magnetosphere there are thin stable current layers which separate regions of different magnetization, density and temperature. In the case where a current flows in a partially ionized plasma, a chemical separation may take place. Due to this and other effects, space plasmas have a general tendency to be separated into regions of different chemical compositions. The similarity of the measured radio spectra from cosmic sources and that of dense plasma focus and other pulse power laboratory devices leads to the idea that plasma physics can be used to account for these phenomena. An electromotive force which gives rise to electrical currents in a conducting media is produced whenever this current flows perpendicular to the magnetic field lines. Falthammer gives a very nice explanation of why they are of great importance. A reason why Birkeland currents are particularly interesting is that in the plasma forced to carry them they cause a number of plasma physical processes to occur. These include waves, instabilities and fine structure formations. These in turn lead to the consequences such as acceleration of charged particles both positive and negative and elemental separation. Both of these classes of phenomena should have a general astrophysical interest far beyond that of understanding the space environment in our own Earth. In the laboratory, filamentary structures are a common morphology exhibited by energetic plasmas. 
In dense plasma focus machines, we often see a filamentary magnetic rope light structure. High resolution etchings of electron beams onto witness plates show nearly identical vortex profiles ranging from a dimension of a few micrometers in the dense plasma focus and a few centimeters in cathode electron beams. The size variation of nearly four orders of magnitude is extended to nearly nine orders when auroral vortex recordings are directly compared to the laboratory data. When we examine the magnitude of the currents in these filaments, fine detail resolution of the current filament shows indistinguishable vortex patterns over nearly 12 orders of magnitude, while coarser resolutions show that the phenomena probably transcends at least 14 orders of magnitude, from microamps to multi-mega amp electron beams. As far as we know, most cosmic low-density plasma also depict filamentary structures. As an example, we find filamentary structures in the following cosmic plasmas, all of which are associated with or are likely associated with electric currents. In the aurora, filaments are often observed forming parallel to the magnetic field. These have dimensions down to about 100 meters. Inverted voltage events and the in situ measurements of strong electric fields in the magnetosphere demonstrate the existence of filamentary structures. These would carry a current between 10 to the power of 5 and 10 to the power of 6 amps and span a distance of 10 to the 8 meters. In the ionosphere of Venus, flux ropes are observed who are typically about 20 kilometers or 2 times 10 to the power of 4 meters. In the Sun, prominences Spicules, coronal streamers, polar plumes all show filamentary structure. Prominences are thought to carry a current of around 10 to the power of 11 amps. Cometary tails often have a pronounced filamentary structure. In the interstellar medium and in interstellar clouds, there is an abundance of filamentary structures. In the center of the galaxy, there are twisting plasma filaments apparently held together by a magnetic field possessing both azimuthal and poloidal components. These extend for nearly 500 light years, so 5 times 10 to the 18 meters. Within the radio lobes of double galaxies, where filament lengths may exceed 20 kiloparsecs, or 6 times 10 to the power of 20 meters. The formation of double layers within Birkeland currents. In magnetized non-homogeneous astrophysical plasma, a number of mechanisms are present that can generate field-aligned electric fields. These include anomalous resistivity caused by wave-particle interactions, collisionless thermoelectric effects due to the energy-dependent wave-particle interactions, magnetic mirror effects involving trapped particles and magnetic field gradients, and electric double layers leading to localized charge separation. All of these have been studied in the laboratory and simulated by computer. It is the last mechanism that has been found to be remarkably prolific in producing appreciable potential drops in neutral plasma. These double layers seem to be strongly associated with Birkeland currents. Both experimental and computer simulations have shown the formation of a series of double layers along with current carrying plasma columns or filaments. When double layers form in adjacent Birkeland current filaments, field-aligned electric fields are generated, which then serve to accelerate electrons within these regions. Peratt, in his paper on the evolution of the plasma universe, wanted to extend the study of cosmic plasmas to the case of the galactic dimension, so 50 kiloparsecs in width, by means of three-dimensional, fully electromagnetic and relativistic particle in-cell simulations. The simulation model consists of modeling a magnetic field-aligned neutral plasma filament in the presence of a field-aligned electric field. To study the evolution of the interacting filaments, a second filament was placed adjacent to the first one. He investigated as many as six filament interactions. Due to the 1 over R force between the filaments, it appeared that a majority of the cosmic plasma phenomena are the result of two or at most three interactions among the closest filaments. Synchrotron radiation from Bennett pinched filaments. One of the most important processes that limit energies attainable in particle accelerators is the radiative losses by electrons accelerated by the magnetic field by a betatron or synchrotron. This mechanism was first brought to the attention of astronomers by Alfane and Herlofsen. 
which at the time was a remarkable suggestion as plasma, magnetic field, and laboratory physics were thought to have little, if anything, to do with a cosmos filled with islands of universes or galaxies. Synchrotron radiation is characterized by a generation of frequencies appreciably higher than the cyclotron frequency electrons, continuous spectra whose intensity decreases with a frequency beyond a critical frequency, increasing beam directivity and strongly polarized electromagnetic wave vectors. The discovery of this mechanism has made it possible to infer that high energy particles exist in many types of astronomical objects and has provided evidence of extensive magnetic fields and most importantly it has shown that enormous amounts of energy may indeed be generated, stored and released in cosmic plasma. Charged particle beams held together or pinched by their self-magnetic field have been of general interest since their earliest investigations by Bennett. The macroscopic picture of such a beam is that of a self-consistent magnetic confinement or compression against the expansion due to thermal pressure. On a microscopic scale, the individual particle orbits include radial oscillations due to the Lorentz force superimposed on the drift in the direction of mean flow. These are the Betatron oscillations. Since they imply particle acceleration, there is electromagnetic radiation associated with them. Because the force is a V cross B force, the radiation from the relativistic electrons is synchrotron radiation. In the laboratory experiments, the morphology of the radiating plasma is both helical and filamentary. This shape only occurs when there are two wires which interact electromagnetically. This means initially the two columns will be attracted to each other. In computer simulations of two filaments interacting, it was found that whenever the attractive force between columns caused their separation to be reduced to a distance such that the repulsive force starts to become comparable to the attractive force, a burst in radiation occurs. In the simulation, the distance equated to about the order of several pinch radii. This interaction between the two Birkeland currents is something that we will explore in the next video. As always, be brave, be curious, the truth is waiting for us. Until next time. <laughs>